Good evening traders and welcome to the Traders Corner Daily Market Update for the 1st of December 2010. Today's been a big day in the currency markets, especially for the euro, with the euro bouncing back for probably the first time in nearly two weeks. You know, over the over the past month or so, the euro has really been in a in a spiral downwards against all of the majors, against the euro dollar, against the pound, against pretty much everything, on the back of this negative sentiment following the the issues with Ireland and the um, perception that possibly Italy, Portugal, or Spain may follow Ireland in looking to the IMF for a bailout. But today, the spreads actually tightened for Italy, Portugal and Spain against the benchmark German Bund. On top of this, we had the positive retail sales data of 2.3% versus the 1.3% expected for Germany, which also has helped to put a floor underneath the euro. Now, we're obviously not in the market of trying to predict changes or trying to, you know, pick tops or bottoms. So when people have asked me if this, if this is going to signify the turnaround for the euro honestly I couldn't say taking a look at the charts looking at the sentiment in the market I can't see that one day's worth of positive data is really going to stop the spiral downwards but you never know from our perspective we're still looking for opportun opportunities to short the euro but we're not going to be you know closing our eyes to any opportunities to buy as well so we're kind of in the middle there leaning a little bit more towards the shorting side of things the U.S. ISM manufacturing came out, and that came came out way above the critical level of 50, which, as we all know, is the expansion level. <coughs> um, you know, a, a figure above 50 indicates that that an economy is growing, and you know things are looking positive. The UK manufacturing also came out better than expected and significantly above the expansion level again. So, you know, from the US and the UK's perspective, things are looking good at the moment and that would be a reason to look for buying opportunities within these pairs. On top of that, for the US, the, posit the um, ADP employment change also came out at massively better than expected, 93,000 versus a 70,000 expected. So we're really seeing a turnaround in the... Um, in the sentiment towards the US and the US dollar on the back of these positive figures. Obviously, going back to last month, we had the um, QE2, the second round of quantitative easing, introduced by the US, and they said that each and every month they were going to inject a certain amount of uh, liquidity into the markets, which, um, which they're doing at the moment, but they wouldn't be adverse to looking towards an exit plan at some point in the near future. And I think these positive figures are really going to get the markets expecting uh, an, another round of rate hikes at some, you know, some time in you know, maybe early Q2, Q3 of next year. So this is really going to get the markets going with regards to the positive sentiment towards the US dollar. Finally, on the on the data front, you've got the worse than expected Aussie GDP, which came out as 0.2% versus 0.5%. Now, it's not a negative figure, but it's still worse than expected. And couple that with the comments the other night from the Australian ministers about the interest rates remaining where they are for the time being. This really isn't going to um, go anywhere to making the markets think that that this statement may be changed and that they may be raising interest rates anytime soon or anytime earlier than expected. So this really isn't going to do much to support the Aussie dollar. So in the short term, certainly, again, we we think this is good for the positions that we currently have on, which are short Aussie dollar against the US dollar and short Aussie against the CAD. But obviously, we we'll keep monitoring those positions to watch the price action to see if there's any indication that we should be getting out of the positions. But certainly from a fundamental perspective, things are looking good so far. So that's it for the fundamentals. Let's now jump on board and take a look at the technicals and take a look at the charts and see what the charts are telling us for the moment. As I said yesterday, we're still confident of the dollar franc. We think it's got good fundamentals behind it. Unfortunately, we're finding some resistance around this level here, which once it's broken, we believe it could sig signify some considerable movement to the upside, but it just seems like the, sell the sellers aren't willing to give up. But as soon as they do give up, we really will see some, some uh, accelerated movement to the upside, or well, that's what we believe and that's what we're trading at the moment. Looking at the 
Aussie CAD. Um, as we said just now, I mean, we, we think that the fundamentals here look good. The We've broken a significant level. We've moved down. This is a pullback. You know, that price never just goes in one direction. And this is something that we have to understand as traders. Yes, price is coming back, is retracing a bit against us at the moment, but it doesn't go in one direction. So it's very possible, it's very likely that the price will continue downwards from here. As we said, the Aussie fundamentally doesn't have a lot going for it at the moment. There's no answer. It does have the interest rate differential, but there isn't an anticipation of an interest rate hike anytime soon. And the Australian figures that came out this morning kind of a further testament to that. So we still believe we're in a good way here, even though the um, market has turned around a little bit. We've got our stop at break even. So if we get taken out of break even, then you know that's trading we'll look for another entry um, and uh, yeah we'll get back in when we can euro pound again this is this is quite a good trade fundamentally yes we've had good euro data out today which you know has helped to spark a massive reversal in the in the pound against the euro but um, or oh, a reversal for the euro against the pound rather but it's, we don't believe that it's a trend change we don't believe that this is going to change the sentiment you know tomorrow something will come out about you know Portugal Italy or or Spain or one of those those peripheral countries with their debt issues and that will just further you know push the euro lower this 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 gave the markets a good opportunity to take some profits off of the table today um, so you know it, it may be a round of profit taking as opposed to people buying the euro against the pound and that's that's kind of our view on this particular pair for this moment you know we're still in this pair we're still short and we're going to remain short until we get the signal to do something else finally with our position with the Aussie dollar well as we said yesterday we've moved our stop to break even this pair has reversed on us quite a bit quite a bit today um, we're sort of hovering maybe 30 40 pips from our entry target so if we do get taken out then again that's something we'll just have to live with and if we get another entry to get into the market we'll take that technical entry but at the moment it seems to be of stopped around a rather significant level if we come here this is the level that we got in at this level here we took the break of this level here the markets have come down it's come up to this level it's tested it it's failed to get through it it's moved down it's come back up again and we'll just see how this level holds if this level holds and we get some further downside movement then we really could be in for a good ride here if it doesn't hold we'll be we'll get taken out of breaking it even and we'll be looking for another entry in whatever direction the charts present us with that's our that's our daily update for the moment. We've shown you the open position, shown you the you know the main movers and shakers of the day, and uh, you know we will keep you updated tomorrow. Good trading, and we'll speak to you soon.